loading all of the trim off the truck onto our patio. It is like the Disneyland of puppets. I like this thing. I do too. I've been real extra about these floors and not settling for anything other than perfection. It's very large. <laughs> yes. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are in my mom's car. We just drove up here because we are rushing to San Antonio. I have a meeting at Ferguson's at 1 p.m. Hi. Oh, it's like, turn on the so we have a meeting at Ferguson's and my mom's wanted to go because she has cabin fever. She has a sinus infection, or she's had. We had a rush of a morning. They were supposed to deliver all of our trim for the, all the things, the crown molding, baseboards, casings, plinths. The only thing that they didn't have was the rosettes. They were supposed to deliver them between 10.30 and noon, I think. Then I got a call at 8 a.m. that he was on his way. <laughs> so Romeo and I jumped up threw on some clothes and had a 30 minute hardcore Ooh. workout loading all of the trim off the truck in onto our patio. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down That was our morning Then we showered And just I had to do some like computer work And we came here So it's been like boom 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 So we're on our way to Fredericksburg We are picking our dishwasher We have three to pick from I think so we're gonna talk to Brittany and see like what our options are. I also wanna ask her, I need a plater, like a place to plate metal. Um, our toilet in the guest bedroom, oh, guest bedroom. No, we don't have our to <laughs> toilet in the guest bedroom. Our toilet in the guest bathroom has a silver pole, the pretty one, uh, but I need it, I wanna get it plated and that was always our plan to match the brass, the antique brass. So I'm gonna ask her if she knows a good plater. We will see you when we get there. Self clean mode makes this kind of cleaning What are you watching? How to clean my stove. <laughs> we have arrived. I don't see why I wouldn't like any of these three meal and dishwashers. Romeo's never been here. This is where we picked all of our everything. Uh, faucets, toilets, tub, one tub. It's crazy. It is like the Disneyland of appliances. Okay, no meal is back here, yes. Okay, so babe, look, this is the refrigerator that I saw. So I didn't see our version. Look how pretty it's on. Wait, this is like ours? This no. is what ours looks like on the inside. Really? But it's all the same stuff. I like it. I know, it's so pretty. I think this is one, two, and three. So I think that's they're all, that has, right? that's what I wanted. I wanted a Mila dishwasher. So I think they're all a little different. So we need to pick which one we want. I like this thing. I do too. The cutlery Instead of like, um, tray. Stacking it up. We'll yeah, no, I do can. too. I think all of them have that though. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, all of them have it. Okay, I think this is like least expensive, the middle price, and then the most expensive. That's the most they expensive. Exactly the same. They pretty much do, and I just don't think that we need something crazy. I this feel one. like this one is fine. It looks, it looks really similar, yeah. yeah. We came, we saw, we conquered. That's the one we're getting. Done. This is gonna be our dishwasher. I'm very excited about this. So, we're gonna eat some lunch now. I'm starving. Okay, so it's officially the afternoon now. It's like 
five o'clock. <laughs> I've been working all day, various things. I'm still very excited about this. Even though she looks like a transformer right now. She's gonna be very pretty <laughs> once we get her paneled. Two things that I want to do. It's driving me insane having TVs and not being able to turn one on because they're still in boxes. So I dragged this one back here so I can put it together. And I took the mattress off the bed, I stripped the bed because it definitely needs a box spring. I mean, there's just not enough support, obviously. Look at that. Like we just were like on the floor. So while we were like, right before we went to bed, I ordered a box spring and it came somewhere. Where did I put it? Those are the two things that I wanna do as we head into the weekend because I'm trying my hardest to really make myself rest on Sundays because I just, now that we're in the house and I just want a fresh kind of routine and I have been working so much on this house that I've been working towards this moment, getting in. Now, there are tons of things I can do. And since there's tons of things to do, my mind's always racing or always being like, oh, I need to do that, oh, I need to do that, oh, I need to do that. And it's just, my mind is in overload and this was a huge accomplishment, getting in this house. Huge, oh, here it is. Huge accomplishment. So, box spring. I hope it's not too crazy to put together. I don't think it should be. And I hope we'll order the right size. <laughs> We're king. Smart box spring. All right. Let's do this. You guys probably also have noticed that I haven't done the floors in here. They're still really blonde. I've been real extra about these floors. We have spent so long working on these floors that I just am not settling for anything other than perfection. And... We've gone over them so many times, and pine in general is a hard wood species to stain. They just are. They tend to be a little inconsistent. They tend to be a uh, little bit splotchy, the, you know, the coloring. And I'm just being really particular. I finally got the, the hallway done. We started in the guest bedroom. I wasn't happy. Sanded it off. I'm just, I'm testing all of my options and really making sure that I'm getting it as perfect as possible. So we're kind of taking the staining process in stages and I'm just really impatient. I wanted to move in. That's, that's where we're at. I'm like, no, I need to move on to other projects. Like these floors are driving me absolutely insane. I'm so tired of doing them. It was like weeks and weeks and weeks of just like, I needed to do something pretty. So if you guys haven't seen the dining room makeover, go watch that, that's very nice. Uh, we're also getting more sealer in so we can seal the rest. So it's, it's still a, a, a process. The floors are kind of a working process. So back here in the primary bedroom will be the last space that we do. And then we'll move our bed and everything. And we will be staying in the guest bedroom. So we're going to do the guest bedroom first since I already kind of prepped it. We're going to do that first. Then relocate after it dries, cures. You know, it's, it's water-based, so it's low VOC, so it, it's better. Um, or feel like we need to get out of the house. Um, we'll stay with my parents for a couple of days, you know, while the fumes get out. But that's basically what we're doing. Oh, all right. Okay, so it's a metal inside, and then it just has a white cover.
measured kind of how high I wanted it to be. It's so much better. Oh my gosh. We won't sink. Now I can make the bed. I don't want to set up this TV. So bad. We don't have anything to put this TV on. We could mount it on the wall, but I'm not ready to do that yet. I just need these. My beauty. Hello. I thought I could take Yeah, I can take it up from the wall. Thank you. Uh, it comes with feet, um, so we're just going to do the feet thing for now, and then we'll mount it on the wall when we actually decorate the space. So we'll save this. This is the wall mount. When I was doing DIY projects like in LA and stuff, I like background noise. I like watching YouTube videos. I like putting on a movie. I just, I like that sound over music. And I feel like since I've been here at the house, I've, ha I've been either in silence because it would kill my battery on my phone listening to music, or since we have Wi-Fi, I've been playing it on the, um, you know, obviously we can charge our phones and stuff, but it's just, sometimes I'm just not in a music mood. I just want something on. It's driving me insane. So, this is happening. I'm gonna leave the plastic on it. <laughs> you know, crazy like that for a little bit. I usually leave the plastic on like my phone. They changed the remote to be solar powered. That's brilliant. No more batteries. I was like, I don't have batteries. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to function the TV. Yes. And now everything is right with my world again. I have one more project that I wanna accomplish for today and I get to enjoy it in front of the TV. <laughs> I just, it's just my thing. I'm gonna watch YouTube videos and install the glass in this window. This window had some trouble. It was really badly damaged on the bottom and I actually kind of like reconstructed it and rebuilt it. So this is the last window that needs to go in the house and I've just been doing other things and we've had it kind of boarded up for now. Um, so I've been painting it over the last couple of days, getting it all ready, finishing it up so that it's just done. Um, so <laughs> this will be then today is in its final stage and it's going in the house today. You guys, we were, it's the next day. We were coming to get something to eat before we start, you know, kind of like hardcore working. And a rock or something jumped up, sliced off the valve on my tire, and I just immediately lost pressure. We're at the tire place now. Look at this. Look at what happened. It sliced it off. Like, what, how does that, that's a freak ad. Look, how does that happen? I mean, we're just assuming that it was a rock. I have no idea what it was. But now we have to wait an hour and a half at the tire place. All I wanted was food. You know what I mean? Like, so now we have to walk in 100 degree heat. Not far, I'm complaining. Well, it's just random. How does that happen? Those, that's the update for me. We're gonna kill a, an hour and a half somehow. Okay. We ate something and we're just walking around in the heat. But it's right by a Goodwill, so we're gonna go see what. We have an hour and a half to kill, right? Oh, well, we have like an hour left. We killed it half an hour already. Okay. And we got 30 minutes in Walmart. And maybe we can, yeah, maybe we can go get some like organization stuff. For bin. A bin, yeah, for all of your packages. <laughs> all right, let's see what we can thrift. Actually pretty they did that pretty quick it was an hour and a half right no it wasn't an hour and a half it's 246 so it was an hour yeah an hour <sighs> but it was just so scary like we like my car tells you how much pressure is in your tires so the psi and so i clicked on it when i got an alert on my car that it, i had a low tire and i was like i just got my car service like how is that possible clicked it and it was like already at 23 
and normally they're around 40 and then it was dropping like drastically and so I, I was like ah and he was like no I know where a discount tire is right there and so we like pulled up and you could just see hear it just the air just spraying out so it's super embarrassing now that little thing is done um 60 bucks on our way to our daily trip to the hardware store what did I need now it's been so long I forgot okay hours later which weren't supposed to be that gone that long trim you guys it's pretty so now I had I paid about three hundred dollars to have a knife cut exactly the profile of our existing trim in a 110 year old house but there wasn't very much of it to begin with because when they added on they kept changing the trim so it was just really flat it was just literally just boards and i really wanted that original like this you know with the rosettes and the casings and the plinths and you know all the windowsill all of that so i wanted to continue that look uh, but I looked through catalogs and profiles of different trim options and just nothing was close enough and I just didn't want to do that. And so for $300, we had to custom do two of them, the plinth and also the casings. The baseboards, someone had actually already created something similar and it was like such a minute difference that I was like, I'd be stupid to pay the $300. Let's just get that one and then the crown molding is what I'm really excited about it's very large <laughs> you guys when we were sampling the crown moldings in the bathroom in the guest bathroom I picked up a sample from Home Depot and it was like on the smaller side but it had a pretty um, design to it a pretty profile but it was just too small so I decided to go bigger go home with you guys' opinions and you were like no definitely do big because when we come into this room it's 12 foot ceilings and anything small is just gonna kind of get lost um, so we did seven inch trim which is the largest that we tested uh, in a different profile and it was 30 cents cheaper per linear foot than the one I picked up at Home Depot. So it was worth it. Um, and the one from Home Depot was only five inches. We're gonna work on putting up the trim around the windows in the primary bedroom because it just feels a little weird. It feels a little bit too unfinished, if that makes sense. Just like kind of sleeping with the windows like exposed like this with the trim is just a little bit odd. I also got Two new books I've been reading. I finished my last Colleen Hoover book. Probably seen everyone, every girl online <laughs> reading these right now. So I got Confess and November 9 to read next. Um, and I finished It Ends With Us. And I'm excited for her to come out with It Starts With Us. Because that is about like kind of what happened before and a, and a character that was in the book. So it doesn't come out until like October or something. But... <sighs> okay, let's do trim, yeah? First thing on the windows, I have to make the window sills. So I'm gonna have to do some measurements and then we can go from there. Okay, I'm cutting all the window sills right now. So we have four and I built those frames so they're exactly the same. So <laughs> that's good. Um, so I just kind of drew out my measurements and exactly what I needed. And I'm just using two by fours. I feel like because we paint them, they don't really need to be extra like premium wood. I think if I was staining them or when we stain them, if we don't have enough windowsills that salvage from the house, we'll, we might use a more premium wood, but I feel like this works just fine. When each of them finish, they'll look like this. I made one already. So if this is seven inches on each side and then 29 and a quarter in the middle, and then so a total of 43 and a quarter. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet, they settle down beneath my feet. I've got it right and I got it wrong, but I learned my lesson hanging on. Come sit here with me by the fire and let it go for a little while. So. Let my fingers 